To convert from radians to degrees, we still um, are going to multiply by our conversion factor. But now instead of um, <clears throat> pi over 180, it's going to be 180 over pi. And the way that I remember which one is which um, is I remember that if I want to go two degrees, I want the pi's to cancel. So that means I want to have the pi that's in the numerator and the pi in the denominator to cancel each other out. Um, so that's kind of how I remember which one is which. Now from here, um, you have a couple different ways you can do this. My personal opinion is that the easiest thing to do is to multiply straight across. <clears throat> so 5 times 180 um, and then divide by 6. So 5 times 180 is 900. And then 6 is the only thing left in the denominator. And then if I divide 900 by 6, it gives me 150. Now you don't have to do that every time. Um, to save yourself a little bit of work, uh, what you can put in your calculator is you can do 5 times 180 divided by 6. And <clears throat> it will do all of that in one step for you and take you right to the, the answer of 150. So we're going to do the same thing uh, with example B. This one's negative, but again, that doesn't change the process. It just means that our final answer will be negative. So I'm going to multiply by 180 over pi. That way the pi's cancel each other out. <clears throat> In my calculator, I'm going to put negative 11 times 180 divided by 6. And our final answer, <clears throat> when we press enter, remember it's going to be negative. And it's negative 330. <clears throat> and then last but not least, 7 pi over 36. We do the exact same thing. Multiply by 180 over pi. Pi's cancel. In your calculator, you can do 7 times 180 divided by 36. And your final answer comes out to 35 degrees.